Hello everybody and welcome back, or welcome for your first time if this is your first time. Today I'm going to be doing another one of these little character design uh, drawings for uh, my fuzz wizard sort of universe or whatever. Um, he's a little dust bunny wizard, like he's, he's like a, if a, the wizard's magic went into like a hairball or something basically is the idea. And uh, his, his sort of arch nemesis is uh, the cat. You know, the cat's always trying to get him. It thinks he's like a mouse or something. But also I was thinking maybe the cat could have, you know, magical power. Maybe it's like a cat, the cat's a witch or something. And the cat could create her own sort of uh, minions or whatever. And so the idea I had for one of the minions would be like kind of a, um, it's a little bit morbid, but it's like the spirit of a dead bird that inhabits a, a teacup. That's a little strange, but. <laughs> so how I'm going to start this out is I'm going to draw a teacup here. It's upside down. So I'm just going to draw some ellipses like so. I practiced this one a couple times to get an idea what I wanted to do, but I don't have it completely flushed out just yet. So yeah, we're just, we're drawing our little teacup here. It's kind of that, one of those hourglass shaped teacups, you know, I don't know what they're called, but just kind of Sketching out the shape here. This is the base. I'll draw a little rim like so. And then the top edge is getting a little muddy here. So I'm going to give it a little bit of an erase and then because I want to have a, a rim on here too. Something like that. We can have it curl in from that. And we've got our cup shape. Let's add a handle on it somewhere. Maybe, what do you think? Coming off this side? Yeah, let's have it coming off this side. I'm just gonna draw one of those kind of ear shaped handles. So what I, I look at them, I don't know if that's what they're called or not, but they kind of have that, that, they look like an ear. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. All right. And then, yeah, now we just got to draw our bird spirit. And I'm just imagining like a couple little bird legs sticking out and maybe some feathers. So I'm just going to draw the tops of the bird legs and then bird legs kind of do that zigzaggy thing like that. So we'll just have them kind of jogging back like so. And then maybe we'll have this one turned a little bit towards us. Here, hold on a second. This Maybe not zigzagging back quite so far. Yeah, something like that. I'm just doing my, these little stick legs I like to do. And then for his uh, feet, we're gonna do like little three little toes and we'll give him, uh, you know, some bumps kind of across the tops like that. Just to create like little, you know, chickeny looking feet. <laughs> And then over here is, is this other foot's going to be more coming towards us like that. Something like that. And it took, it's crazy because I instinctively will go overboard with the detail um, on a drawing. So it took me a couple tries to get, get him looking like part of the, the fuzz universe because it's kind of cartoony and I kept drawing them way too realistic. <laughs> it was like turning into like a two hour drawing. 
and um, yeah, it's it's almost sometimes for me anyways, it's harder to draw stuff cartoony if uh, it's not like my default mode. Okay, so here I'm just adding some some kind of raggedy looking feathers just hanging out. Just a few of them. And we don't want it to get too in the way of the his legs and stuff, so something like that. He's one of our antagonists, I guess. He's one of the the guys that does the the cat's bidding. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna add a little crack in here. I think that'll look make it look interesting. And just just real simple, something like that. Alright, so there's our sketch. Let's give this a light erase real quick. And we will start inking. Da -da -da. I'm going to start with the fine nibbed fountain pen and just do an outline. And we will start on the teacup here. Just leaving a little chip in the rim there where the, the crack starts. And I don't think I nailed the symmetry on that perfectly, but that's okay. <laughs> this is a, a kind of a concept sketch. I want to make this into, I don't know if I said this already, but to make this into like a comic strip or a little zine type thing and uh, yeah I want to just make sure that the characters aren't so crazy detailed that I can't you know redraw them multiple times <laughs> you know I think that's a part of the reason to make something cartoony, right? All right. It's a nice little crack. Let's add the line for the rim right there. And I'm going to add kind of like a, I don't know, a pinstripe or whatever. Just going around like that. And we'll line. Oh, I'm already smudging, of course. <laughs> we'll outline our handle here. It's okay. And then for his legs here, let's start with these feathers. Kind of line those in. of like kind of feathery texture down over his knee like that just those little dashed lines like that looks good I made that one a little bit thicker so I'm just gonna come over here and thicken this one these are gonna just be filled in dark anyway so no big deal all right I'll give his little bird feet its toes 
And you can even do it, you can even just do a couple little bumps like that in the straight line. And it looks like it's got, you know, a claw and a little bit of meat. <laughs> you can do the straight line first if you want. I don't know why, but I like doing the bumps first. Uh, bam. We got ourselves some little bird feet. Isn't that nice? Alright, a couple more little feathers. Hanging out, like so. And then, I think from there, I want them to be pretty dark. I might, I'm just going to come through with a brush pen. I got this finer um, Pentel brush pen and I'm just gonna because I want this all to be pretty much just solid black so I'm just gonna come through fill that in that way it's not gonna bleed through the page so if I if I work that fountain pen to make sol solid black on the page it's gonna it's gonna show through the back side of the page pretty bad <laughs> And then for here, I'm going to leave a little bit of a highlight like that and just kind of make like a little dark, like a circle. Just kind of filling in the leg there. And then I'll come through here in a little bit with some hatching and finish this off. This is just to kind of fill out the, the majority of the, uh, the space there with the blackness. And these Pentel brush pens are amazing. If you have never tried them, you can pick them up for five, six bucks online. And they are worth every penny. Because you can put down a ton of ink and it doesn't like bleed through the paper. It doesn't, you know, dries quickly. I think this is this one's waterproof. It said it was pigment based. It's usually pigment based. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think pigment pigment based usually means it's waterproof. So, but I very well could be talking out my neck. Who knows? Who knows if the things I say are true? <laughs> All right. I got his little legs drawn in and most of that black filled out. All right, we're going to put this away. Oh, careful. And we're going to grab our extra fine pen right here. This is where we're just going to grab these little edges and just start just hatching, hatching them in. It's just gonna it's gonna fade up to uh it's gonna fade from black up here but this saved us a lot of uh, fountain pen work just doing it with the brush pen and we can come through and add some little you know little bits like this real quick just a little stray Whatever the little bits on feathers, you know, the little hairs that make up the feathers, whatever those are called. I don't know. I got no idea. Something like that. Just hatch that in a little bit there. Something about that is just not, doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's just too much, too much highlight on that side. Yeah, that's better. All right, so. Now we're going to come through uh, and shade in this cup. Our light source is going to be coming down from this direction. So we're going to have a, a highlight kind of right here on this surface and then a, a smaller one down here. So we just want to make sure that we get our, you know, 
shadows and highlights and stuff. And I'm just going to kind of avoid that crack there. It's not super realistic, but it's going to give it some contrast so it still looks like a crack. Um, and yeah, we're just going to come through here and... going to do something like this and just start getting more and more intense with our hatching as we come back this way. You can leave a little edge light there if you want. Something like that looks pretty good. And we'll do a similar thing down here. I'm just following the contour of the cup, like so. And then we're going to leave our, we'll do like just a little bit of hatching there, maybe like a couple dots, and then maybe just a few hatches up that way. That way we get that nice little highlight right there. And same thing down here. So this side is going to be... getting light on it too. <laughs> so eloquently put. Okay, so then we're going to have a shadow right here. Like so. And then we'll just grab that little edge right there. The crack is kind of going to kind of disrupt things a little bit here. But yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe I, I wouldn't do those dots along that edge of the crack there. But you do that on yours. I'll, I'll leave them on mine because it's, uh, you know, ink and it's permanent. <laughs> There's always next time. All right. And then I'm just doing a little bit along that rim there to, to make it look 3D. I'm going to hatch a little tiny bit through this sort of pinstripe or whatever I decided it was. It's supposed to be like a little line painted around the mug or the cup, teacup. And then, yeah, same thing on this the rim up here. Just a little bit of hatching to give it some depth. And then I'm just going to give this a couple like little lines to make it look like it's a flat surface and yeah, it gives it a little bit of a shadow that might not be there but that's okay all right and then our light is coming down this thing's pretty much going to be in shadow so we're just gonna hatch maybe just that got a little wonky there. That's okay. Maybe we'll just, yeah, leave that little top edge open and then like a little highlight on the back edge here. Something like that. That looks pretty good. All right. I just want this to be a little bit darker like it is down there. Maybe I'll just kind of double up on those lines a little bit just to give it some consistency. Boosh. All right, so let's grab our thicker fountain pen here. We're just going to give it a peripheral outline to kind of make some stuff pop. Like so. something like this grab that line oh that got juicy right through there that's okay something like that it's solid black across the bottom so we really don't need to do anything unless there's a couple little 
blank spots there. So do that. Fill that guy in. Let's kind of give it a overall look. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit of cross hatching just through here like this. Fix that up a little bit and then where do we want it? Probably right about here. Just follow that contour. I feel like that edge isn't quite right. Doesn't have enough uh, of a gradient here through here. So let's just do a little cross hatching on it. It'll look great. Maybe a little extra down there. Um, something like that. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna call that done. So yeah, there's our dead bird spirit in a cup. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And real quick, let me say a special thank you to my subscribers on Patreon. Um, your guys' support helps make this channel possible, and if anyone else is interested in signing up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description and at the end of the video. So yes, thank you very much. All right, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye now.